Good morning and welcome to week eight of e-learning. So this week we are going to do a little bit of a review on area and perimeter. So for today's lesson, you're gonna play around with this digital geo board and I'm just gonna walk you through the steps so you know what to do. So after you're done watching this tutorial, there's a link below my, the link that you clicked here, that will say geo board and it will take you right here. So first, this is the interactive geo board. I'm going to hide my camera and I'm gonna hide my tools too so you can see. So down here along the bottom are all the tools you have access to. This is a small geo board, looks like that, but I want you to use the large one today. So we're right on the large geo board. Feel free to play around with the other tools um, before you get started on this if you want to. So click on the largest geo board. So what I'm wanting you to do is come up with at least three shapes and show their perimeter and area. So the variety of bands below, I'm gonna use orange. I'm gonna take the band and pull it over to loops. And you're gonna see it looks like it's wrapped around two of the different um, little spokes. And then you just click on one um, of the loops to extend it. So I'm gonna extend that one up there. Every time you need a new side, you need to grab a new band. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna extend it this way as well. A new band. I'm gonna extend it all the way up here to the top. And then one more rubber band. I'm actually gonna put it like this and then turn the top one. So you can just play around with it to see whatever feels best. So here is my first rectangle. Now, part of the directions were to label. So I'm gonna come down here to my pen or my drawing tools. You're gonna to see I have a curvy line. This is the freehand pen. That's what you're gonna be able to use to draw numbers or letters. This is gonna make more of a straight line. So if you wanted to cut the shape into parts, you can change the color of the pen. There is the eraser um, and the clear everything drawing. So I'm gonna change my pen color. Um, I guess I'll just keep it this orangey yellow. I think it'll show up good on this background. So for perimeter, I'm counting everything on the outside. So I have one, two, three. So I'm just going to label. Oh, I better push the freehand draw. And you're going to see that it's, the pencil turns um, like it's drawing on paper now instead of sideways. So this is three. Now, uh, some, if you're having a hard time, if you take your eyes and come down to the bottom of my screen, in the like second little block of tools, there's something called a hide show grid. If I click on that, um, this might help you might help you count better. So I have three on my top: one, two, three, four, five, six. Now. I know that because this is a rectangle, the opposite sides are parallel. So I'm gonna come over here and switch colors for a moment. I know that this and this side are parallel. And I also know that the par these, this side and this side are parallel. So what does that mean for me? Well, I know that if opposite sides are parallel, they also equal the same. So I know that down here is going to be three and over here is going to be six. So I could write this out in a formula. I'm gonna kind of count in my mind, but if you need to write it down, go ahead. So I have six plus six is 12. 12 plus three is 15. And 15 plus three is 18. So um, I would just do a little perimeter equals 18. Now you might have to get creative on how you can fit three on here. I think I should be able to. So I need to do area. I'm going to do my area on the inside. So I know the area equals length times width. So I'm going to take six times three. Six and six is 12. And that 12 plus six is 18. So um, my area is also 18. And I can go back and count the squares on the inside and I'm gonna do that for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have my area and I have my perimeter. So you're gonna go ahead with this exact same process and you're going to continue pulling bands um, and creating shapes. And I need you to have at least three, um, any size, any shape that you want. So have fun and let me know if you have any questions.